why I'm stuck on that shirt. Move on, lady. Come on, look at something else. Hi, I have you order here, and I hit every Rolling Hills Ministry thrift store in Ruston, Arcadia, Bossier City, Monroe, and Pineville, Louisiana. And I've kind of been shopping a little bit before I started videoing, and I went, oh, yeah, I need video. So where I am now is in the back section where they have uh, all these bins that have, like, the napkins and uh, fabrics, yarns, some some types of craft supplies. They have other craft supplies up front, so mostly sheets, things, and all in this area. So I dug through the napkins and place masks, and I found a lot of stuff, so it could be fun, and you'll have to check that out when I do my big haul video. But I did pick up those fall ones. I thought those were kind of cute. I This was an interesting day. I was trying to think, is this, what is, I think it is. Oh, that's a really nice, is that a baby blanket? Yeah, I think that was a baby blanket. That's really sweet. You know, you find these high-end baby blankets at, at Rolling Hills all the time. And I have been to the nice stores to buy a baby gift for, you know, a baby shower and stuff. And it paid forty dollars for a baby blanket, and I have seen the exact same kind here for a dollar. So just saying, if you like those nice uh, baby blankets, look in the thrift stores because they have a lot of those, you know, the little receiving blankets and things like that. These baby blankets are getting really expensive, and baby clothes really expensive. So yeah, check out your local thrift store. I bet you'll find something nice there. So, I, yeah, I grabbed these. Uh, these are kind of dated and all. Let's just check them out. And I did give them a ride for a little while. But I, I have to say right now, I checked on them again you know, before I bought them. I kind of go through everything. And these had some really faded out ones that were like yellowed. Up. And so, it didn't, didn't quite work for me. Anyway, they're kind of, that's, I don't know. I have some china that has peach in it. Which is why I thought these would be really great. But, yeah, I don't know. It's okay. Just, that's why I was interested in them. So everybody's getting these really cute round placemats that are kind of like woven. Or they've got like a lace work looking thing. And they're kind of fun. And I wish I could come across some of those thrifting. Because I do try to stick to the whole thrifting part of my uh my challenges and stuff and my collaborations i do like to to keep them unique by doing a lot of thrifting so yeah I, I i saw a lot of cool stuff in here and i think this is more than i normally see but a lot of it was you know wash a lot of washing and just kind of worn out i did think about these green ones i just can't think of any dishes i have that go with that tend to stick to darker colors, and that was a little bit too minty. I did think that was a cute little set with the little apple balls. And I like these dishes, and it's so funny because I will, like, look at something I I picked up, but then I'm looking at the back. There's this little a bit bread and butter plates that are coming against the wall. I kind of like those. Did I look at those? What is going on? Huh. I did grab these because they have the cobalt blue. I know I've got some dishes that have kind of that brown in them. I thought maybe this will work. These are so, so sweet. Look how adorable these are. And once again, I can't buy everything, but that was great. I don't know why I didn't make those were chips or something. I don't know. But those were, were super cute. I do have some nice china. So I better, um, you know. So they're doing this thing where they they put a lot of different plates together and those are those are cute just little simple plates with the green rim oh, i'm gonna give them a ride am i gonna give them a ride uh, yeah i'm giving them a ride how about that so yeah just because they're going to my cart doesn't mean i'm gonna buy them. wouldn't that be cute if those had been like napkins or something but they weren't it was just fabric now i know you can make your own napkins but i'm not gonna make them somebody's dropping by excuse me and then people are like what are you doing i'm making a video all right now this piece i was like ah what can i do is like make you know and now that's really not me in, in a way it kind of maybe is like i can see doing something with that bowl but hi ah, yeah. so i just say no sometimes you know too many no's i could go completely nuts if i had a place to put all this stuff 
And something I could do like every day if I had the time to redecorate every single day. Oops, sorry about that little finger. I'm holding it my my camera in a weird way. So I like that little peach glass and I'm like, I think I have one like that. Ah but I don't know. I don't remember. So a lot of times I'll put like up two or something, but that did look really familiar. And I, I looked at this square plates because I thought, you know, I could get something and kind of make um stack them up and make ooh, what's on that plate? It's weird. But you know what I mean? Stack them up, and make some a tear tray or something out of them. But <laughs> hello finger. But I just thought I'm not to do it. Now that I saw, I set this, that square plate on top of some cobalt plates. What? You know, anything that's got a little bit of cobalt in it, it's so much fun to work with. Because I do like that. And so I like that. Yeah, I like those plates I covered up. Those are my dishes for the Lego. Yay! Um, it's funny. I, I it's been about a week since I've been here. I'm like, what is this stuff? Oh, yeah, I like that platter. We have a platter very similar to that. We use a lot. Like when we cook out, we use that platter. Oh, I should have left that plate sitting there. Did I move it? Thank you, Jerry. Oh, yeah, so see, I, I kind of like these plates, but they're, oh, yeah, I see. You see, the problem is the chip one. And, you know. I think so I picked up this candle holder, and it's, I'm pretty sure it's kind of big hurricane uh, globe, I guess you would call it, would go over. So I thought I'd give it a ride and you know think about it. But I'm looking around on the top. Um, they used to put those things up on the top shelf, so I'm looking around. Is there one? No. So that's kind of cool. It's definitely worth considering. And yeah, I picked up some little plates just to take a look at. Yeah, that's just lots of little plates. I like the little plates. I guess I want something a little bit more pizzazz. <laughs> a lot of stripes. Lots of stripes going on. That's kind of cute. But I think it's just two. So there's just two of those. Oh, I'm thing with these. Yeah, there's just two of those. And then more blues. Blues are good. They're good. Put it in the back. Go, go put it in the basket. Put it in the basket. Quit thinking about it. Just put it in the basket. Just do it. Yeah, I don't know. Yep. Come on. Yeah. Mm, uh. You see what I go through? Do you see what I do? I can't figure out anything. I mean, come on. Two. Oh, there's more than two. Look at this three. And what? There's four. <laughs> so, <laughs> I crack myself up because I look at this stuff like, why? Why did I just get them? Because you will 75 cent yourself to death. Oh, I'm putting them like that. Yeah, I told you. Do you know, and I put it back, do you know right now, I don't even remember, okay, what did I do? Did I get them? I don't know. I've got to wait until I do my haul video to figure it out. But I, yeah, I've got a little bit, that's a little plate lately. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the green ones, a little reason, I mean, you can always mix green into something. And yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Now I'm kind of curious to what the ones I left behind earlier that were kind of a have a kind of an orange color or something. Why didn't I go back and look at those? Hmm. Uh that's those are cute going absolutely nothing I have, but I am putting them in there for who knows why. I just don't know why. But it's funny, those green probably match that green uh placemats I saw earlier that I didn't get. Yeah, there's that. So, uh, this is, is this the same plates? No, these are different because they're all taped together. Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm going to need another look. I don't, I can't buy them all. I know. But it is funny when you just, don't kind of want to. You know, I do. That, that's a cute little plate. But then it was just, I was hoping I could find, like, the, um, you know, dessert plates in those. I think they're just saucers. So really I'm gonna use those. Not a bunch of sauces. So there's that. Um, yeah, just lots of clear glasses. I don't know what it is about me. I, I actually I bought clear glasses recently to use, but typically I don't buy clear glasses. I like the amber. I don't, I don't know what that is about me. 
But I picked up some really cute clear ones and some really nice colored ones as well while thrifting. So this thing was kind of fun. I don't know why I'm even picking this up. Why are you picking this up? I was looking for the, you know, bread and butter size. So I don't know what that blackout was. Sorry about that. But I want to, yeah, I guess I'll put this back. That's kind of a cool time to scratch that. And if you go back and look at like, I don't know, I gotta make a tear tray. You know, I come up with those ideas. Those are so cute. Look at these. Oh, I almost chipped. But those are the cutest little, what, punch cups? I mean, what would you do? I mean, would you drink coffee in that? Tea? I don't know. Yeah, they're kind of dinged up, which is really sad. I thought, well, two of them maybe? There's, I think I, there was maybe enough for, no, there wasn't. Those are so cute, though. And I stir up stuff all the time. Yeah, I'm always looking like random salt and pepper shakers. I kind of like this one. But then I thought about it, and I really like glass ones so I can see what's in them. But that is pretty neat, you know? That would be great for something. Like, we make taco seasoning and we're, you know, stuff like that. But we need to use it up shakes. Like it is. But then there's another one. Just cute. It's good to have all the little seasoning if you're going to shake something on there. But I don't think we can use those. I have to get real. Um, plastic. Plastic. Plastic's good sometimes. That's just not what I'm looking for right now. A little bit of Christmas. Not much. Not much Christmas going on. Uh, chip. A lot of chip stuff. Oh, come on, people. Quit donating the chip stuff. Very sad. I don't know why they think somebody's got a good place. I love little tiny dog sweater. So this is a box I like to go through because like, what? Oh, you know, my dog, my, I mean, sorry, that's not what I was looking for. My neighbor's dog comes to see me sometimes. She needs a new collar. But that's a halter. She needs a collar. I surprise her with a new collar next time I see her. Um, and she comes to me today. So let's see more just... I don't know what that is. It says ours and purchased inventory. What? So I guess they bought that for something. Maybe whenever they do their mission, I mean their rescue work that they do, and a disaster relief set that they do, and that there was some leftovers. But that's not really interesting. What are, they, what are these boxes? I don't know what was in here. Is it things? What's going on over there? So, yeah, the music's really loud. I hope I don't get dinged on that. I think you really can't understand it. Can you? Can you understand what they're saying? I hope not. So, that's some kind of weird game or something there. I didn't catch what those were. Not what I was looking for, that's for sure. No toys. No toys, thank goodness. I did go back into the toy section. Though. You know I did. You know I looked at those Barbies. It was in the video, though. Not that guilty. And then that was just dishes or something. Yeah, they had a cute salad bowl right there, but I have a big gold one, so I didn't need that one. The other things, uh, oh, that lamp was kind of cool, and it was very heavy. It was wood. That's pretty nice. Uh, that's good colors, but not my colors. I don't know. This has turned out to be, um, an uh, interesting run. I, lots of stuff to look at, lots of things to consider. And I did have a lot of time this day, so I did do some clothes shopping. So clothes shopping is always good. And they have a few things. They have a few things I liked. Now, the Monroe store has big, roomy dressing rooms that I really like. You can bring your buggy in and give you a chance to kind of, you know, go through your stuff while you're in there. If there's somebody waiting outside, kind of go through and see what I wanted to call. Now, these are clothes that I had tried on, and I just put back up. I just want to show you what they were. It's kind of cute. Um, paper bag waist pants, or what would be called those drawstring pants. I am so short-waisted that when I wear pants like that, they're like up under my ribs. I mean, they're into my ribs, not around my waist. It's crazy. So, those didn't work. And then, there's some kind of a skirty-looking shorts. Not a good look. What? Not at all. Yeah, so they're new. I had tagged them. And there is the, they're still there. They kind of look weird. And that was such a cute top. It's just hot. Doesn't look like that. I mean, it looks hot, doesn't it? I just couldn't do it. It was really cute. I was really bored too. A little bit worn looking too. But I think it had some threads loose. Yeah. 
but I just looked at it and I had to put it on. I went, wow, this just looks hot. So couldn't get it. I like all my embroidery shirts my sister had. Um, they're some designer shirts, but they're still, she likes her shirts. And I thought, oh, these are cute. It's kind of nice to her shirt. <gasps> Not really, but yeah. Anyway, that was, um, can I fix this? Can I do whatever? Would it be okay? I mean, I will waste more time trying to figure something out like that. And, and of course, figuring out a way to spend more time working on it than I have. So that was a kind of a cute color dress, but it did not look good on me at all. It looked pretty wretched, in fact. So that went back. And then I found my shorts. I found the exact same pair of shorts I was wearing. I found another pair. That's just awesome. So yeah, that was that was a good find. They're by J. Jill, and I really like them. Now they have a lot of jewelry, so their jewelry ball is pretty huge. And then they have also the cabinet that has the higher price jewelry in it. So that was a lot of fun to go through. And what I was doing, I picked out, I do have some clothes that I picked out, and I was looking for jewelry to go with them. And I love that bracelet. I kind of gave it you know, a little ride for a while. Because what I was trying to do was put together some $10 outfits that included accessories. But some of the accessories were a little pricey here. Like where at the one in Ruston, they're like $2. It had different prices on them. So I was having to be really careful of what I was picking out. If I could, if it would fit into the $10 range. So it was a lot of fun though. It was a lot of digging. Very interesting group of uh, necklaces and stuff. So you could spend hours doing this. And I probably did. I think I did spend a couple of hours in that store that day. Yeah, that's that's the bad part. But, you know, it's something to do. That's a really interesting necklace. I don't know if I would really wear it. I just grabbed it because I like the colors. And to see if it went. And I just like weird stuff like this. Always. This <laughs> what would be animal. And that, that one I think is pretty cute. Now, of course, you can't see it because I didn't film it correctly. But that was a cute little necklace. Um, but yeah, so just looking at necklaces. And you know, I, I typically look for natural materials or I really avoid the plastics. You know, I, there it is. You got a better view now. So, and I don't buy a lot of metal either, but this has like a mother of pearl um, inserts, you know, in the, in the circle. So I kind of like that. <laughs> just that zebra. Now that is an interesting piece of jewelry. It's just this metal thing, and it's kind of a you know crafted piece. And I really was interested. It doesn't really hang right though. It just wasn't right about that one. And plastic and metal and just stuff. So much stuff. I wish I had one of those rocks at my house. Of course, if I did, it would probably end up looking like that full of jewelry that I'm never gonna wear. Yeah, that is one thing. That's some crazy necklaces right there. Do you see that one? Oh, yeah. That's just fun. Oh, yeah. I remember those. Those are great. Oh, look at that one bolo. I thought that was kind of sweet. You don't see a lot of bolos around anymore. Do guys still wear bolos? I don't know. You know, like Western guys? Do they? Let me know in the comments below because I don't remember. I don't think I've ever seen one anymore. And then just fun stuff. But, like, so much plastic. Can we just do without the plastic, folks? Can we do it? You know, get rid of the plastics. We, you know, use that plastic for like, I don't know, gasoline. Now that actually goes really well with that, that um, dress, but I think it needed more than that little thing. I don't know, maybe it didn't. But I, yeah, once again, you know, it just wasn't a really good quality piece, so whatever. I do still like to find nice things, even though they're cheap. I wish I would spend my $2 very well. I did like that stuff. You know, I always grab the shells. I don't know why. After that, it's just like, I cannot get it off the hook, though. But, yeah, got it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of not with the lace. Probably not going to work. So, that, it was fun. It was just fun digging through all that. As you can see, you can spend hours. Literally spend all day doing this. In fact, I have been known to spend quite a few hours in rolling hills. Because they're always bringing stuff out. And you just kind of loop around to see if they buy anything else out that's new. I like those colors, those greens. Typical stuff I like to wear. Yeah, 
I um I have a lot of jewelry making stuff, but I never get around to making jewelry. Isn't that sad? It's just so sad. Cause it'd be so much fun to do. That green was pretty, but it was plastic. I remember. And those buttons, are those what are that that sideways kind of bead gear looking thing? Ah, so much to look at, so much. And that doesn't even count the bracelets and the earrings. Oh my goodness. Seriously, be there all day, just playing in the jewelry. And as you can tell, a lot of video as well. Oh, so this is a really cool set of earrings that I found that I just kind of liked and I kind of played with those with it, among other earrings. So, yeah. I don't know. Just I hear that music. I gotta keep talking over it, don't I? I like that. This that earrings are coming up, but they're just really simple. You know, these those are cute. Those are cute those little things, little things, and they don't match. So I don't know what that was about. I think that made me crazy. I gotta have things to match. I'm a messy kind of girl. You see, I'm trying to get to those those. But one pair of earrings. So I love these. They're very handcrafted, like you know, like more like an artisan thing versus something that was mass produced. I just it probably was mass produced, but it, I just like how it was made. And the pennies are like two different years, you know, and and they have two different backs on them. One has like the shield. One's got the traditional, you know, monument on the back with their older pennies. That's really just what are these? So anyway, I like those. Throw them in there. Throw them in my buggy. Gotta give them a ride. Yeah, I just realized I spent a lot of time playing with Julie that day. Because that's the part I videoed. I think I did more. I played more. I even when I, when I wasn't filming, I still looked at stuff. So that's what I do. Oh, yeah, that was kind of rock thing. was kind of cool. I think it was plastic, too. Why? Why? So much plastic. I don't know. So let's see, I got some earrings, got some necklaces to check out. That is something I would probably wear, but I have a lot of things like that. Just glass beads, they're just multicolored, you know. So I put those back. And then the fabric ones. I remember when those kind of came out. I have, a, I think I have a couple of necklaces that are fabric. I actually still wear them. I don't care. I, I remember it was at Chico's. I love that bracelet. It's just so cute. But I, once again, have a lot of bracelets that I deal with. Enough bracelets. And then this was pretty cute, but I just didn't feel like it was going to work with that, um, the lace on there. And those earrings, that's, that's earrings, you know. That's, they're just, I don't wear long earrings, by the way. I just like them because they're so artsy looking. And I'm an artist, so you got to have artsy stuff, right? You can't look too normal. Mm, yeah, they're going back because I do have a lot of shells. Once it, you know, and you kind of have to wonder people who like shop in stores who have, who are spending a lot of money in retail stores and they buy a lot of stuff. I am making choices on things that cost like two bucks, and <laughs> because you just know you have too much stuff. And so I'm not that bad of a hoarder. I'm a happy hoarder. Right? So I just get really good stuff. Okay, sometimes I get junk. I know I do. I end up with junk. Let me put it that way. I like when I get goodie bags. I end up with a lot of junk in there. And I and usually go straight to the Rolling Hills, you know, basket at my house and to go back to Rolling Hills. And sometimes I think, oh, maybe I can sell these on eBay. And there's the problem. eBay is the problem. I wasn't selling so much stuff on eBay, or at this point, not selling much stuff on eBay because I haven't been listing enough stuff. Yeah, that's... Wow, I am kind of shocked at my own videoing here that I maybe I need to cut this, but I keep hoping something better is going to come up. And I am just not letting go of these earrings. I just think they're so much fun. Oh, I know what... It was kind of one of the reasons I didn't like, oh, yeah, I'm getting these. The brass... Are, it's soldered, you know, to keep it together. You can really see a lot of solder on it. I thought, well, they sure made a mess out of that solder. But once again, that is part of just the whole handcrafted look about them. I'll deal with that. And, um, 
I saw that dress. It's really interesting. Once again, not something I would have, if I saw that in a retail store, I never would have tried that dress on. But I love that color. And it's just a long, stretchy lace dress. And it's just cute. And you can wear like maybe a vest or something I may put over it or a jacket. If I went somewhere because it is, it is um, like a tank top. And I don't, it's nothing else. I'll wear it as loungewear. It's, it's fine. It's really comfy. It may be loungewear. I might want to read, look at that label again. It could be loungewear. Okay, that was a pretty cool bracelet. Once I didn't get it because it just drive me crazy. Um, I buy a lot of bracelets that I end up not, I just can't wear because they're too noisy or heavy or are they, uh, me and bracelets. So those are kind of interesting shell that are painted on and then just weird metal, metal beads, things, just, those are actually cute. I like those. Um, I, I just like that abalone, mother of pearl kind of stuff. Yeah, that's a thing. There's a thing with me. I, I, you know, these earrings, um, this is a very convenient way to store them, but it's hard to really look at them because I said, this is time consuming. You thought going through clothes was hard. Just going through all the jewelry is, yeah. That's a lot of jewelry. Can you think of a store you've been in that had that much jewelry in it? And that variety. Just So, there's the jewelry. Just want to share that with you. Now, I'm talking about stuff I didn't buy. Now, these vases were incredible. They were about three feet tall. Now, I am with the Facebook group where it's called Thrifters and Pickers or something. And people are always picking up these really big vases. So, that was really weird. I mentioned before how the square plates and how you can kind of make a tiered tray out of it. So that's my example of a tiered tray, and I left it that way to give somebody else some great ideas. Now, while I was in Monroe, I did go by the Family Promise Thrift Store. I always forget the Promise part, but it's always called Family Thrift Store, but it's Family Promise Thrift Store, and I found some cute things. These are adorable plates, and they are uh, got a really pretty color, kind of a stoneware look about them. But I don't remember if I bought them or not. I think I didn't because I don't like that lip kind of turned up. They're shaped really weird. But I'll have to do my uh, haul when I unbox everything to see what I actually got. Now, they are by Ikea. And like I said, they're pretty cool. And I just don't remember if I bought them, but I don't need them. So, we'll see. This place, when I go in and rarely find some stuff, I actually found some cool stuff this trip. And I spent some money. But I think I spent like $85. Now, I did get these glasses. They were 3 for $1.50. And they have etching, and you know how I love my etching. Although it has the grapes, I tend to not get the grapes. But I have a carafe that has grapes, and I thought, I'll get it to go with my wine carafe. Anyway, thanks for watching. And hey, please hit that like button, and subscribe if you haven't, and leave me a comment. Don't forget to hit that notification button, because sometimes I make really good videos. Bye!